Hello, everybody. Welcome again. Today, we will talk about the Raspberry Pi Pico threads. Okay, so as we all know, Raspberry Pi released new MCU, which is the RB2040. It's kind of marvelous MCU. One of its uh, perfect features that it support dual core. Okay, it has dual core. That means we can run two tasks concurrently at the same time. Okay, let's say I have task one and task two. Okay, so we will use this feature uh, to help us improve our code in the RS protocol. If you remember, we are running in this channel a few RS uh, communication protocols that we use to send, receive data, analyze the data. So I will use this feature in our RS so we can put like one thread to send it, keep sending the data or responsible for sending the data from the master to the which master, by the way, it will be the rest by Pico to the rest of the network, to the nodes and the second core will be responsible for receiving the data uh, from listening and receive the data plus process it, any data received from the rest of the nodes on the network. Okay, guys, so uh, let's go in and learn how to do these threads. So in the next uh, coming video, we will learn how to put this thread into the RS uh, code. But today we will focus only how to develop the threads, how easy we can develop the thread, how, how we can manage it, and so on. Okay, so let's go and do it. Guys, before we dive in in the development of the first feature of the RS uh, code, where we will talk about the thread and also time out of the command, let's talk about the threads overall. Let's see how we can uh, make thread and how we can convert the, uh, the normal Pico code into threads. Okay, so let's start now. So. How we start the thread? Let's say we have um, let's say we have a function. Oh, before we have a function, let's go just a normal a normal while loop code. Okay. So for example, I have here uh, while true, which is always true. Uh, so let's say I have to print. Hello, uh, this is the main loop. Okay, so just want to bring this, let's say, every as every second. So here I need to sleep for a second, which is one second. So for sure, I need to add the time. So import time. Okay, cool. So let's run this guy. We got issue, no, no, no. time, come on, time. Yeah, so here we go. So this is loop, it's running every one second, okay? It's very straightforward and very original while loop. Now, let's stop this. And if we want to add another thread, Okay, we assume this main loop is the main uh, thread. Okay, I can say this is the main loop at the main thread. So if I want to make another thread that works on the, the second core, I need to define a function. So I can say define a second uh, thread. This one again, I just wanted to bring to the to the to this to the monitor to, or to the Syria, which is I will add a while again while true. I will copy this guy exactly the same. Uh, sorry, it should be here. So while true, hello, this is the second loop at the second thread. 
Okay, this one maybe it will be x feet every two seconds. Now I need to declare this as a thread. So for sure, first we need to import the thread. So import underscore thread. Okay, this is the package that will help us to uh, add the, the function as a thread. So this is the main will be run on the main call. This one will be run on the second call. Then here we just need to declare our thread. So underscore thread dot start underscore new thread new underscore thread. Now which thread I want to start it or run it as a second thread, which is this one here. Okay. And here I can pass the parameter. So if I don't want to pass any parameter, then that's all. Okay. So now if I run this guy, we go line five got issue uh, syntax. Yes, I guess we need a uh, some call here. Here we go. You see, guy, here we got the main and the second execute at the same time at different timing. Okay. Here we go. We have threads already. So this is run on another thread uh, on, on the second thread. This is run on the main thread or the main core, I can say. Okay. Uh, if we stop it, guys, I'm not sure why. For some reason, whenever I kill the, the execution of the code while running threads, I got some weird uh, issue being thrown back. So I need to disconnect the rest by the what they call the password by Pico and connect again. Okay. Here we go. Connect again. So I need to restart again. Here we go. Okay. So again, this main loop run in the main or the first. We don't have main and sub. And just we call it the first core. And this one, this is the second uh function or loop that runs in the uh, second core. Okay. So now what we can add, maybe we can say here, so we can see how, how many seconds or yeah, can be updated. So I add like X equal to, for example, one. So this one, this is the second thread. Uh, uh, I can say runs at plus string of x plus second. Okay, same goes to here. And this one will be x for sure. Here, if I come down here, x will be let's say 0 0.3, whatever. This is the main thread, uh, uh, runs at space plus string plus second. This one will be x again. And this one will be x. Yes, guys, I can define x, redefine x here because these are different scope, different functions, or it will be like different variables. Unless I can add here, it actually is a global uh, x, then will be linked to each other, but I don't want. I just assign them as a different variables. Here we go. So uh, this is the main that run at so fast. <laughs> So the main will be one second, yes, and 0.3 will be the, sorry, the main will be at 0.3 and the secondary will be run at one second. Well, whatever it depends on the value we put here. Uh, yeah, so that's that's it. That's all, guys. So that's it, what it takes to run a threads inside the Pico. So later on, we will divide our code. So we put the send or the transmitter code that we 
use it to transmit the command to the RS uh, network, we put it in the main core. On the second core, we keep it just listening to the income packages. If there's any income packages, then it will analyze it and throw it on the serial again. As easy as this. And also, we will add the timeout timer at the second thread. Okay, guys, so yeah, I just want to give you a hint or uh, like intro to the threads. So later, when we talk about the thread inside the RS code, you will have a basic about the thread. So you have like a, a, an info, main info on the thread. Okay, guys, so. Let's go. Let's move on. Here we go, guys. So I believe I will release this video earlier. So I no need to include this in the RS code uh, video because kind of will be lengthy and I don't want to uh, disturb you or like not make you focus on the main RS code. So that's why I will release this, this video first so we will have an idea of the threads before we hit the RS code with the threads and the time also will be too much for you to digest. Anyway, so here is the video. I And you have noticed how easy it is to drive a thread. It's just a matter of function that we assign to the thread to be run. And I hope you have learned something new from this video. And happy learning. Please let me know in case you have any concern or anything you have in. Uh, get it yet from this video. See you soon.